So in this case, you have a hanging object that is in equilibrium and uh, supported by two strings as shown. And you're asked to find the tension T1 of the left-hand spring. So to find this tension, of course, um, you can resolve forces, but maybe today I shall draw a vector diagram. So this is T1, okay? Followed by a force in this direction, T2. Okay, so T1 is pointing up, uh, T2 is pointing to the left. This thing is 90 degree. Yeah. Okay, and this one is vertically downwards because it's 120. So you can see this is your cyclic triangle. Okay, that's not very nice, but you get the point. All right, so of course you may be wondering, teacher, what angle should I use? Huh? Well, you know, this one here is 70, right? Okay, so this is 90 degree. Okay, if you're not sure why it's 90 degree, you see uh, this T1 is moving up and then T2, let's say this is T2. T2 is moving to the right. You can copy T1. This is my T1, so we are a bit sang -ek. And Then you bring T1 here. So this is the same vector drawing, T1. Okay, so if this is 90, this is also 90. Does that make sense? So... This angle is the same as this angle. Same thing. Yeah. Right. Let me delete this. Okay. Next part. With this right angle triangle, finding T1 is easy cakes, right? Because um, you can do the alternate angle. You know the alternate angle, right? So, teacher, what alternate angle are you talking about? You know, this one is 70. But also, at the same time, this one is 20. Right, this is 20. So if I extrapolate this, this is also horizontal. That's why this one is 70. Okay, nah, nah, I show you, I show you. You see this? Zig, zag, 70. Okay, just to confirm that my orientation is okay. Okay, and if you're wondering where the 20 is from, the 20 is here. T2 pointing up, 20 degree to the horizontal. T2 pointing up, 20 degree to the horizontal okay all right so we have 20 here we have 70 here that's why we know this is 90 but we need another angle you say oh i hear you don't worry this one is vertically downwards so this is 90 degree okay if this is 90 degree can i say that this angle here let me zoom in a bit if it's too small let's say that this angle is 70 degree okay so right now i have a triangle where i have a 70 degree here so once I transfer the angle, I can easily use Pythagoras theorem because don't forget the 90 degree, there's a 90 degree here. Ma. So I want to find T1. Yes. So T1 is opposite of 70. So I will take sine 70. Okay. Because this angle here is 70. Yeah. Sine 70 is opposite T1 over 120. So you can find T1 like that. Long. So if you generally draw a triangle, triangles fast, then this is a preferred method. So I will get 112.8 Newton. So I say C. But if you are a type where you are very uncertain about the angles, don't worry about it. Okay? Draw, draw, draw resolve your vectors. Uh, in this case, we don't really have to consider torque because we assume that the weight, the object or all the weight act on one point. So this is like a dot. Okay, so it's not like a 3D or a 2D object. There will be no talk to discuss.